Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jason from microsolderingsupply.com and today I'm going to be talking about one of these uh, new products that we're offering lately. Um, a lot of you guys are familiar with uh, something like low melt uh, wire or low melt alloy as some of it's called. It's made by companies like Chipquick or uh, CyberDoc has it. And basically what it is is a combination of tin and bismuth um, to create a really low temperature uh, soldering alloy that you can use to melt uh, to flow large um, heat masses like connectors or large chips and make sure they come off cleanly and quickly uh, compared to something like lead free or leaded and it makes uh, doing things like charge ports or um, uh, all sorts of any anything basically with a large uh, thermal mass that requires a lot of heat will benefit from using low melt so but the um, when I use low melt alloy at least I, I had a lot of difficulty with uh, getting it to flow well and sort of getting it to stay where you want it to stay. And a lot of times you put the, uh, the, the, you'd melt it on there and you stick it on there and it would just, it would just wouldn't stick to the joints or anything. It wouldn't move. It just flow all over. It'd stick to your iron. It wouldn't go where you want it to. And it was, just, and, uh, generally, you know, sometimes more of a hassle than it was a benefit. And so what, uh, I discovered recently is this low melt solder paste, which is the same combination of tin and alloy, or tin and, um, bismuth, as you can see here. And basically the difference between this and the wire is this is a paste form. And, uh, <clears throat> the benefits it has over the wire is you can, you, what you do is all you got to do is syringe it into, it comes in a huge syringe and you can just stick it into place and, you just squirt a little bit where you want it, and then you just hit it with your iron, and it doesn't flow everywhere. It doesn't get all over all the neighboring components, and it just goes exactly where you want it to, mixes with the joint, and creates a really low temperature alloy that is uh, makes removing large thermal masses like charge boards very easy. Um, this stuff melts at about, I believe, 138 degrees Celsius, and compared to leaded solder, I think leaded eutectic solder is around like 350 Celsius or something, so that's almost... That's, that's less than half the temperature, I believe. And so, uh, the, uh, the other benefit is this comes in, this comes in large quantities. This is a hundred grams right here. And, you know, a typical low melt alloy wire is pretty expensive for a few sticks. This is only, we're selling this for $18 for a hundred grams. And this is a huge fringe, man. This is going to last you a very, very, very long time. And um, I just want to give a quick demo of it and just kind of show you exactly why this stuff is so great. So I've got here an S3 charge port and I'm going to turn on my iron real quick. And this S3 charge port, I don't know if you can see this, but it's very clearly under the microscope. If you look, let's see how close I can get. No, I don't think I can get close enough, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, no, you can't see very well, but it's under the microscope. You can tell all those pins are bent and very clearly damaged So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this charge port uh, with the new one and hopefully that'll solve the issues So I'm gonna go ahead and Looks like my iron is warmed up and so all you got to do to use this low melt solder paste It's very simple simply take your syringe yes and just apply just a little bit onto all the joints and all the connections just like that and so you can see here I've applied the low melt and that's what it looks like before it's melted and so now all you gotta do is take your iron I'm using a larger, uh, I think this is like a two millimeter wedge tip, tip. I can show you in a sec. I'm gonna tin the tip of it, just some regular solder. And now all you have to do to get this to, to flow into the joints and mix with the already lead free solder that's on there, is just simply just touch that with your iron and you can see the solder paste melts perfectly. It doesn't spread everywhere. And just like that, I'll do it again on this side.
and it's mixing in with the joint right now just like that and you can see it all melt and I can even go ahead and do these um, the legs of the connector here you gotta make sure if you're doing uh, you wanna make sure that you take remove it afterwards as with any uh, non electrical alloy bismuth is basically not a good conductor so you don't want to use it for an actual solder joint just for removal and you can see already if I can focus just like that all that stuff there is just lead, lead I mean uh, excuse me low melt alloy and I'm actually even going to go ahead and flip it over and put it on the back side too once again just put a little bit where you want it and then just take your iron and just melt it like that and you can see the solder paste melts perfectly and mixes with the joint and you don't have it flowing everywhere it goes exactly where you want it and so now <laughs> what we can do is to remove, start to remove this uh, port using a little bit of hot air and it'll come off very easy and you won't pull any pads and so I'm going to clamp it into my Omnivice and of course make sure you've capped and taped over your microphone and everything right there because uh, if you heat that up a little bit too much then you're gonna burn your mic up and you'll have to replace that. That's no now, fun. you don't even need to use that much heat. I'm gonna set my um, hot air station at 360 Celsius. And I'll use 35 for airflow. And all you gotta do now, some flux always helps. I use Amtec 559, also available on microsoftingsupply.com. And now all you gotta do is just take your hot air and you'll be able to see this stuff melt almost instantly. There you go. You can see it start to turn all silver and shiny. And you just all you gotta do is wait for the pins uh, to melt and turn shiny. So that you don't pull any pads. Just like that, we removed our connector. And so that's our low melt solder paste alloy. Right here, you can get this on our website, microsolderingsupply.com. Um, just look up uh, low melt solder paste, and it, it'll appear in the search. Um, and if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment or shoot us a message. Uh, this is Jason from microsolderingsupply.com, and thanks for watching.